Yeah, man, September the 14th, 2021. It's Kevin Christian, and I want to talk about EMF broadcast and some of the benefits that you could have from broadcast. Some of the things, some of the advantages that people with access to neural monitoring that are able to broadcast may have over the general population. So, um, first of all, EMF broadcast. That means um, you have access to neural monitoring. You could wear a mind control headset to connect to and live as a broadcast. And in your mind, you will see the view and basically be able to really live as a broadcast. And a broadcast obviously can defy the laws of uh, physics as pertaining to like a human standard. So, you know, you can't walk through a wall. All right. Um, but a broadcast can. So, uh police can can uh use it for surveillance or anybody can use it for surveillance you would know uh what's the hostage situation or you would know uh where's the problem in the oil rig fire you know but send in a broadcast you know you know like on star wars it's like send in a droid <laughs> send in a broadcast right right so you might have like what an oil leak on your car Send in a broadcast. What What if the mechanic said, uh, all right, give me just a minute. He went back in his office and, like, put on his hands and, you know, live as a broadcast. I'm going to go, go check out your uh, engine and see, oh, okay, I see where it's leaking from, you know, and then reemerge as a human and uh, pretend to, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I can see it just clearly with this mirror or whatever. Like, you know, some actor stuff. Um who uh, committed murder? Who stole that baby girl? Who stole that that uh, ten year old girl? You know who stole somebody's child? Um, you know things like that. Those type of things. You know, um, you know a blind person with a mind control headset on, living as a broadcast, they could see. They could see what it's like to see again. When they're blind and they can't see at all, they can live as a broadcast and that's emitted into their mind, bypassing the eyes. They don't need the eyes to see. They could live as a broadcast and see. These are just some of the things that are possible with this technology. Meanwhile, you got um, you know, dope heads, junkies, terrorists, gang stalkers, using it for um, to hold people in bondage, to mentally, psychologically torture people, to physically torture people, to make their money off of live streaming people's lives like the Truman Show, to scream all kinds of stupid stuff at people all day with artificial telepathy unconsensually for their own amusement. These idiots using this technology for terrorism, slavery, that's what we're using this technology for. We're using it for slavery. We're letting the trashiest people get away with whatever they want to using this technology, attacking good people. They attack good people. They, they use it to destroy people for child custody, for uh, adultery, uh, for financial reasons for control over somebody's life, for control in all sorts of situations. They use it to have control over other people. It is definitely a form of human trafficking. Your neural monitoring frequency, your neurological frequency that has so much um, effect on your life, on your mind, on your physical body, on the things you have to deal with, the people you have to be connected to unconsensually. If I don't like your mind and I don't like the way you think and I don't want to be connected to you, I should not have to be connected to you. But if you're a gang stalker, you have access to my neural monitoring, then you're able to connect to me unconsensually and I just have to deal with it. And it's a assault, a neurological assault. It's a physical assault. It's a psychological assault. It's a neurological assault. It's a microwave attack. It's terrorism. It's slavery. It's human trafficking. And it's downright evil.
And that's what we're using this technology for. EMF broadcast, neural monitoring. That's what we're using this technology for as society. I hope you're all proud of that.